Hey guys, I'm Bilal Amjad and welcome to Internet of Things with Raspberry Pi and Windows 10 series. Uh, we have covered already two parts and in the first part we talked about the introduction of Internet of Things and we have talked a lot about IoT. Then, then we have explored the Raspberry Pi chip, then how it looks like and what elements are installed on it. So if you are new to this video and you are not familiar with IoT and Raspberry Pi, then I would recommend to watch those videos. In this video lesson, we are going to do, see how we can configure a new Raspberry Pi and install an operating system on it. And for that, you need a micro SD card so that we could install an operating system on it. So let's see how we can do that. Uh, so guys, this is an SD card with uh, reader with me and make sure uh, to check the arrow on this SD card and this button on the top of this SD card. They should be on the same direction as it is on my right hand side. So it means that this card is unlocked and it is ready to format and ready to place some uh, co uh, copy some files in it. So. Uh, I just need now a uh, micro SD card. Uh, this is a micro SD card, quite uh, small in size. I have just placed this SD card inside my uh, card reader. Now all I need is to place this uh, card reader into my laptop, just like this. So once I have inserted the card, now it is ready to use. I will just now. Uh, install the operating system into this card now let's see how we can do that now micro SD card is inside my laptop and now I am good to download the operating system and configure my Raspberry Pi so you have to log on to the dev center of Windows and its URL is in front of you on the screen as well uh, you have to explore this Windows IoT section here you have to just click the get started button so when you will click this, this button then a proper guide will start and it will tell you how you have you are going to configure that so first of all you have to select your hardware and we are working with raspberry pi 3 so i will select raspberry pi 3 then we have to select our installation media and i am using a uh, micro sd card so i will select the first option here then we have to select uh, the version which we need to install on this raspberry pi so we are going to use windows 10 iot core once you have selected that, you have to click the next button. So when you will click the next button, you will see a proper guide. Uh, here you have to download and install Windows 10 IoT Core dashboard. Just click the download dashboard button. So just save it in your uh, uh, computer. So once it get downloaded, you have to install it. I have already installed in my computer and once you will complete your installation, you will see the dashboard. So this is how IoT dashboard looks like. Uh, you have to select a new device, uh, set up a new device option here and you have to select your device type which is Raspberry Pi 2 and 3. Then you have to select oper uh, operating system build here which is Windows 10 IoT Core. Then if you haven't already inserted a, a memory card inside your computer, then option will be displayed here just like in my case, uh, it is being displayed here. You can provide any name to your device and your Raspberry Pi will be called with this name. You can set up a new password. After providing the password, you have to accept the terms and conditions. Then you have to click download and install button. Once you will click this button, you will be um, notified for erasing the SD card. You, you will be asked for the permission and you have to grant the permission. Once you will grant the permission by pressing continue, it will start installing and downloading the software. Just like uh, here in my case, you are seeing the progress and uh, once it will get downloaded, then it will flash uh, your SD card and will install Windows operating system on your uh, memory card. Uh, so the size of this uh, file is in GB so I'm not going to waste so much time in downloading that as my internet speed is quite slow at this time. So I have already downloaded the image file. So this is the second way of installing Windows. Once you can download that image file, you can just select custom and you have to just click the browse button. Once you will click it, you have to select FFU extension file which in my case is Windows Raspberry Pi dot FFU. So this is the image which I already have downloaded in my system so that I may save time while installing it on Raspberry Pi. So just I will now just click the install button and will click continue. So Windows will ask you for the permission. You have to grant it and you will see that a console application will appear in front of you and it will show you the progress of the image which is being installed on your Raspberry Pi's uh, micro SD card.
here we go so the operating system is now installed on our sd card and it is ready to use so now just take out your uh, memory card and we have to insert this memory card inside our raspberry pi uh, 3 and as i have already uh, told you how we are going to insert our memory card when i was telling you about uh, iot in our previous video so this is my raspberry pi and i'm going to insert this sd card on the back side of this uh, raspberry pi chip here is a jacket where, where we have to insert this memory card i will just uh, pick my memory card and insert into this jacket so now all we need is, is to do this uh, that we have to connect uh, power ca a cable we have to provide power to this um, uh, raspberry pi so that it may get switched on uh, and for that we just need a usb cable so guys i have given the power to my uh, raspberry pi by uh, inserting one end of usb cable in my laptop the end the other end is in the power jacket of this raspberry pi and you can see a light here which tells you that the raspberry pi is on so i need to see the output of this uh, memory card on my screen because if you don't do that uh, then how we are going to know that what Raspberry Pi is doing for you right now. So for that just insert a HDMI cable. Here we go. I have just connected uh, an HDMI cable with my Raspberry Pi. So uh, here is uh, a spinner of Windows 10 which tells you that Windows is being loaded. One thing, one important thing I would like to mention here is that Raspberry Pi can take minimum four minutes and maximum there is no limit of this loading time. So it depends totally on your memory card, how good it is and in how much time it is going to load your windows. So you have to just keep calm and you have to wait until this windows get loaded. So once this windows will get loaded, it will be self explanatory screen and you will see how you are going to process. So in the very next video, we are going to develop a UWP application where we will and we'll see how we can turn on and off the lights with Raspberry Pi. So I'll be waiting for you on the next video. Thank you for watching this video. Keep sharing.